Good morning, ESM. Now, today's plan has been altered just a little bit. Now, you know, I wrote an entire script for this, like, really amazing show, and I even got it passed by McSweeney and Ferris. But something even more important has come up today. My birthday. You heard it right, people. 17 years ago today, in 2004, I was born. And now you get to hear all about me for the next 10 minutes. Yay! Right after news and announcement. The FBI said that a letter from someone claiming to be the Chinese Zodiac Killer has been sent to multiple news stations in upstate New York. For those that don't know, the Zodiac Killer was someone who killed at least five people in North Carolina in the late 1960s. People have been warned not to touch or open the letters. The Rosemont Gifford Zoo is transforming into a winter wonderland for the holiday nights. This is an after-hours event for the whole family where you can sing holiday carols, visit with Santa, carve an ice sculpture, and refreshments will be available. Make sure that your plans to go make sure you make plans to go soon as only happening from 5:30 to 8:30 starting tonight through Saturday. Please stand for the pledge of allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. This week, ESM's Key Club will be sending candy selling candy grams Monday through Friday in the main lobby. Students can write a message to send to the recip recipient with the candy cane. Candy canes will be sold every morning, 8.30 a.m. to 9 a.m. and during lunches, days two and four. Buyers must know part of the recipient's schedule so that Key Cub can drop them off. They are one for a dollar and two for a dollar fifty. Now, I'd like to start this off by saying that it's actually a lot more difficult to write about your, like myself or yourself than I thought it was going to be because I'm pretty boring as it is. But I dug through some old photos and videos just to entertain you, so it's really not just all about me. Now, in case you've already forgotten, which I'd be surprised if you did, my name is Liv, and I've been a part of the morning show for three years now, which is my entire high school career, if you'd even call it that. I started off on sports and was involuntarily forced to move to news and go on air more, which led me to becoming Tuesday's producer. I've got some old images of me up because I thought that they were pretty funny and they'd be better than images of me now. That's my old dog, Bo. There should be a couple more. That's me and my dog more recently that I got, my COVID dog, Rue. And now we're heading over to weather. Today we'll have a high of 44 and a low of 32 degrees and it will be partly cloudy. Tomorrow has a 72% chance of rain with a high of 47 and a low of 46. Thursday will be cloudy with a high of 63 degrees and a low of 39. So while I'm doing some rapid fire stories and fun facts, because I thought it'd be a cool little idea, we're going to show you some things from the year 2004. Uh, and I'll just start off with my first fact. My favorite animal is a capybara, which they're just like social giant rodents. And they're legal pets in Canada. Uh, my favorite color is green, but I think it might j just be because someone asked me one day and I decided to choose my mom's favorite color. When I was younger, I wasn't allowed to watch Spirit Stallion of the Cimarron because it would make me cry uncontrollably. Which is also the same reason anytime the sad dog commercials came on, I, they'd have to be changed. I won Star Wars Champion of the World by beating my fifth grade teacher at Kahoot, and I never actually learned how to ride a bike without training wheels. Uh, the last time I even attempted to ride a bike was when I was seven years old. And last but not least, I've played softball for almost my entire life, and yes, it is most definitely harder than baseball. Uh, speaking of softball, although it is definitely not the right season, now we'll go to sports.
The boys' bowling team fell to Auburn yesterday 3-0. Ryan Buffum shot a 243 and a 621 series, and Charlie Chuckles Eason with a 191 game and 553 series. The girls' team beat Auburn 2-1 in a hard-fought match. Olivia Neeson led the way with 160 game and 424 series. Today, the teams play at home versus Central Square. The volleyball team beat Central Valley Academy 3-0. Emily Murnane led the team with 16 assists. Emma Tal Talarico led the team with six kills. Laura Sitnik led the team with eight aces. And Morgan Ransom led the team with four digs. The girls and boys bowling team have a game against Central Square at 3.30. The boys basketball team has a game against Auburn at 5.30. Ice hockey plays at West Genesee at 6.30. The girls basketball team has a game against Fayetteville Manulis at 6.45. In NFL news, the Los Angeles Rams beat the Arizona Cardinals 30-23. to Matthew Stafford threw for 23 of the 30 for 287 yards and three touchdowns. And Cooper Cup had 13 receptions for 123 yards and one touchdown. And I'm Aiden with your sports. Now you might be wondering, hey Liv, what do you plan on doing for your birthday, you know, since you just spent a whole entire show being a self-absorbed snob? And the answer to that is absolutely nothing. I'm going home, I'm eating a nice copper top dinner, and I'm headed straight to bed. Uh, so if you see me today, then why the heck are you in my house? Uh, anyways, that's all I have for all today, and I promise I am never going to do this again. You will never have to hear about my birthday again after this. Uh, so from everyone here on The Morning Show, have a terrific Tuesday, and stay tuned for tomorrow's show, Trying Sports with John and Luke.